And we don't have an echo right now, right? Echo! Echo! <laughs> echo! Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Cog Pod episode number 22. Uh, ve- veinte dos. Veinte dos. Veinte dos. I thought you were saying dosi do earlier. <laughs> dosi do. That's no, that, what that was me. No, call Grim it. said that. Oh, Grim that said call me. it dosi do. Dosi do, your partner around. <laughs> now we're gonna have all these claps. I'm Only sorry. in Texas. No, that's. Bring <laughs> <laughs> um, your partner dosi do. Clearly, mm. the usual crew is here. What? What? Amanda, Luke. Yep. My Nick, upstairs Grim. neighbors. Upstairs, Rob. I thought you were upstairs. No, no downstairs. he used to be the. He used to be upstairs, Rob. Now he's downstairs, Rob. And then basement, Bob is what he's soon, turning soon into. Soon to be basement, Bob. You're moving to the basement. Oh my god! No, that's just where he keeps the bodies. <laughs> uh, she's so confused. I don't understand what you guys are talking about. Uh, inside jokes on podcasts are good. That's cool. So if you hear some creaks Nick's- and some slams, that's uh, my. Apparently, I just got new neighbors and didn't know about it. Ah. Ah. Nick, you look super comfortable in your new surroundings. I am super comfortable. Other than this like um. slight burning from the church to my side here. <laughs> <laughs> Does it irradiate Just close, pain? Those, <laughs> just close <laughs> those br- blinds. <laughs> those, those brines? Those, those brines. brines. Close your blinds. I was going to call them something else. All I these think, R's that you have. Those are curtains. Those are yes, curtains. Yes, those are. Uh, Valance? Yeah, Nick has no blinds. Of a valance is at the top. Okay. Valance? Valance. Uh, Val- Val- Ricky Valance. Jesus Christ. Ricky Valance? Uh, Bruce. Bruce Lee? Bruce? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, yeah. Luke, please. Anyway. Okay. Plus, stop. We have two <laughs> executive producers this week. Los dos. Los dos. We have Elastic Armadillo this week and we will post his YouTube page up on our website and then we have Bonnie underscore RLP on Instagram and we will post her link on the website as well if you want to get in on the action and be an executive producer then remember to go to our website cogpod.net, go to the donate section, Mm -hmm. give me some money and I'll shout out to you really? that's all it takes? that's all it takes you're cheap give me some money (laughs) bro um also okay so what i really want our listeners to do to help us out we need your assistance folks okay so a couple things go on itunes and rate us all right yeah. and leave some comments we've had some good reviews we've had good reviews but we need a few more um and now that we're kind of getting it rolling and we're getting more listens and stuff we yes. need to get some reviews in yeah um and interact with us if you listen we found out recently we've had a lot more downloads than I realized we had. Yeah, and like we want to hear from you guys. Where are you people right, at? Right into us. About I, I was shocked too because I hadn't checked in a while, and when I looked at it, I thought, "Oh, I'm reading this wrong." But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but nobody listens to us. Yeah, well, I knew um, some yeah, did, but not that I, many. I realized it made me realize we hadn't literally like given our details in a long time about like where to find right, us. Right. So, so maybe at the end we'll we'll do a little wrap up of. We don't even have to. It's all on the website. Just go oh, to yeah. the About Us tab. It's got all of our That's Twitters and true. Instagrams and YouTubes and all of that does stuff. It? But does it? Does Nick do that good of a job? Yeah, it does. Yeah, he does a great job. An amazing oh, job. Oh, my ego you is just going us, out of control here. <laughs> oh. Boom. If you want to talk to us on Twitter, it's just use the hashtag CogPod. Hashtag CogPod. Right in. The tweeters. Right, whatever. Tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweetly. <laughs> you know, whatever. Jesus. What's social media? Um... You don't even shut up. Also, <laughs> one other thing, and then I'll let you guys just ramble. About so, what? I have no idea. Whatever the fuck y'all oh, want to talk about. So, fucked. we have a good friend named I Morpheus. Yes. He is the co-host of a wonderful podcast called Death by Horror. It's my you favorite. You check that out. It's wonderful. Death it's by so Horror? Cool. Um, horror. Oh. Horror. Okay. Deathbyhorror.com. <laughs> and... um. Basically, what it is, it's like a choose-your-own-adventure scary situations. So, it's it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, check that out. But anyway, what he needs help with. So, he plays No Man's Sky quite a bit. 
and takes pictures and posts pictures of different animals that he finds. So he's got six that he sent us that he wants to name, but he wants you guys to help us name them. So we're going to post the pictures up on our website of his creatures from No Man's Sky. And then you guys write into us with name suggestions and then he'll actually go in and name them something, you know, that you guys have sent. So that would be kind of cool. I'm yes. going to go in and, and they will names. be forever. I'm going to, I'm going to put, I'm going to vote for all of them to be named Grimsby. Uh, mm. All of them. I don't think it's going to win. I don't think it's all of win. them. All six. Maybe one of them will get it. I hope Maybe one of them at least like looks a, like a, me. Maybe like a grim, grim little The one or that's just legs and the head is smushed into it. It looks like a weird <laughs> lizard thing. That should be you. I'm, I am I'm a lizard. That one, that, that's I'm a lizard. Grim yeah, I'm going to name that one Grim. <laughs> God dang. Yeah. So go to the website. We, we're going to have a revamp also pretty soon. It's mm-hmm. been Spoilers. super hard well, um, to where we can be me. really, really interactive. And then also go to our Twitch, the underscore COG. Is that what it was? That we ended up at? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Is that our Twitch? Uh-oh. It's on the website. <laughs> I don't think that one I don't think that one is on the website. Um, anyway, go to our Twitch. Find us somehow. I um, think it's the underscore cog. But if you follow the underscore C-O-G on Twitch, <laughs> then all of our different streamers are going to start streaming there. And so it'll be like just a home channel. And then we'll just have random people playing random games at various times. Um, they're going to sign up so that you guys can be entertained as often as possible. So go there, hit subscribe, turn your notifications on, and we just verified that it's correct. It's Twitch TV <laughs> slash the underscore C O G. Um You done with C O G? Yeah, you done. know me. Oh Jesus. C O G Yeah, everybody. You weren't supposed to keep going. I was Oh, I was trying to make it. Now it's just awkward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get flagged. Well, good. I was trying to be um. awkward, but she made it mainstream. All right. I'm sorry. I did all the announcements <laughs> and the boring, like adulting shit. Now y'all that was the best whatever. part. What yeah. was? Oh my god, the adulting. Oh. I what thought that what was you like literally just said? Uh, what? Oh jeez, <laughs> I hear a cat. Fuck the cats, man. I'm so sick of these bitches. Can the one that's almost dead? Can she just die already? Whoa. Whoa! That's, Please, can she just? That's going to be a popular opinion on the internet, which is run by cats. <laughs> yeah, I'm offended, Amanda. Cat. Either die or don't. Like either get better or just die. Our cat can we make a decision? Are going to be upset. Well, we just I lost. We just lost another section of listeners. I keep. I love to. Yep. I love to alienate our viewers. We, we so might as well just should should not have any. <laughs> that's how we started, right? <laughs> right Ooh, from you day know one. Who I want to be our sponsor? You guys help us oh. find a sponsor. Oh as well. yeah. So, we want to sponsor. Mm-hmm. I want to be sponsored by, like, a girly company so I can get some free shit, like Birchbox or Ipsy or, like, a clothing line. Or well, I'm not putting no lipstick on these lips. Me. You mm. can send it to me. I'll take free gifts. Yeah, see, that's good that we have diversity because then, you know, I can, w- like, the Husky Big and Tall stores or something, right? And then... Why didn't you just say Dollar Beard Club? That, too. <laughs> Dollar Beard Club. I would like to... That, that'd be cool if they sponsored us. Because I know, like, Dollar Shave Club does sponsor, like, smaller podcasts and stuff. So, hmm. sure. I, got I don't want for anything. You, though. If they send me makeup, I'm going to use it. <laughs> Nick, I'm not going to send it I would to want you. pictures. Sexy I'll, 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 It'll be on the live cast one. I'll just have all kinds of... Smears. You'll just be, oh, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> I would do it. what you should do? <laughs> what? We should do a live St. Patrick's Day one. What day is St. Patrick's Day this year? March. I'm going to be too drunk. (laughs) Sweetheart, it's always the 17th, but what day of the week is it? That's what I said. (laughs) God. I'm looking. Because then we can get drunk back to Nick's at his house. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, (laughs) raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof. It is a Friday. On Friday the 17th, I just decided we're doing it. Do it. (laughs) Join us. Nick, you're doing We're it. Get drunk live. All right. Nick, is, you're doing it. It is decided. Do you guys uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Canada? Yes. Okay. Well, Nick's a leprechaun. No, we celebrate. I don't know. We celebrate in America, and we're not Irish. <laughs> are, aren't I'm you, Nick? Irish. Ish. What? Uh, you're a leprechaun, aren't you? I am a leprechaun. <laughs> I thought he was Satan. How oh. can he be a leprechaun? No, at the same no. Time? Well, I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is in reference to the witches cursing Trump thing. Right. So they, I heard about that. That was last night. They, like, all at midnight, 
had a pact with all these different covens to like curse him. But like, what did they say they were going to do, Nick? Tell me again. Uh, well, I guess they're just going to curse him, and they said he'd start acting weird. Like if you <laughs> saw Trump, he already acts so fucking. I know. Weird. Well. Apparently, I did a big internet faux pas today. I saw that posted go. on a big news thing and that said, uh, we're all going to get together at midnight and we're going to cut curse Trump. And if he starts ask, acting weird, you're going to know that it worked. And um, I posted on there, wow, he's really in trouble now because last night the leprechauns cursed him too. And... Uh, <laughs> I guess that was bad because a lot of people were like jumping on that. They're saying, "How dare you make fun of witches and stuff like that? Wicca's real and all this kind of stuff." Which it which it is. Um, I hope that it works. But yeah, I mean, Wicca's like a religion, basically. I mean, yeah, but you know, curses aren't real. I'm sorry, they're but not. I'm, I'm but, cursing but you. I don't know, but you, but you believe you're in. Do you believe? I'm, I believe I'm kissing you, Nick. And I saw online that <laughs> Lana Del Rey, she's like a singer. Yeah. She was going to help a coven and also get in on it. That's cool. Well, what I told them is uh, uh, about the leprechauns doing it last night. And they're like, oh, well, you can't say that. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a leprechaun. What are you trying to say about leprechauns? And, the, <laughs> oh, and they're like, leprechauns aren't real. What are you talking about? And I said, hey, I got just as much proof. That I'm a leprechaun, as you do, that you're a witch. So. <laughs> well, whenever Nick gets hexed and his hair starts falling out because they've now cursed you, <laughs> you'll see that it's real. Way to go, Nick. This is the time for you guys to distance yourself from me before but the But then he never has to worry about comes. getting his hair cut again. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't have a bald Nick. No, we no. like the long hair, Nick. If that happened, um, I would get a tattoo on my head. Good. But, like, how do you know if Trump acts weird? Because he already acts so crazy. Maybe he's going to so act completely that normal. Help? That's weird. Well, that's what I'm it hoping like cancels for. cancels it out? Maybe they, maybe they, you know, the curse involved a specific action. that The cursey okay, curse. You know, like, like cluck like a chicken in public or something. Oh, God, but. I hope so. That would be amazing. <laughs> Either way, I hope something happens. Smash cut two, and then we see Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Put in a clip of him exactly. with a chicken. Uh so yeah, that was a exciting thing that happened this week. Yeah. So. Um we have a question if y'all want me to ask it. I want oh, to ask it. Also happened this week. The other news about the planets. What? Oh. No. Oh Jesus Christ, oh, yeah. we should definitely talk about that. Let's do that yeah. first then. We'll we'll hold off on the question. That's a good one. Go. Whoa, me? Yeah, you oh, said you it. normally drive this bus. <laughs> so <laughs> uh NASA has discovered seven planets within it's like forty light years, right? It's so, called Trappist One. Is the the solar the system? I don't know what they're called. The, <laughs> the I don't hand know if motions. It's actually a solar system or not? It's yeah, like a the, the ball of the the ball thing. of planets, like the area where they're in. They're sure. calling it Trappist One. Okay, one might call the it zone. a ball sack. <laughs> God damn it. God, I think I it's a solar it. system. Do you guys <laughs> sure. think that it's like a coincidence that Trump wins and then NASA's like, y'all, we got seven planets. <laughs> yeah, we can bust y'all the fuck out so of how here. How far away are they? 40, 40 light years. 40 light years. So we'd have to be in stasis, right? Sure, if they could do that. Yeah. I, that's probably it, no. That's, I mean, they've been doing it yeah, in well, movies. Well, Disney's forever, in stasis, so right? <laughs> no, he's frozen. That's different. That's, still, yeah. frozen. that's, that's frozen stasis. He's cryostasis. Guys. Mm. I thought he was just frozen. That's what cryo yeah. means. He's, he's just cold. He's fine. Uh. <laughs> Do not open. So seven planets. Anyway, that's really mm. cool. Um, that are possibly inhabitable. Yeah. yeah, they've got not inhabitable. They are possibly habitable. So well, three of them have liquid pooling water, which is exciting. Right. Which is really exciting. Yeah. Mm. That's the Can best part. Go? Yeah. Circle of life. There could be tuna there. We could have a lot more sushi for years and years. Oh my Space god! Tuna. I'll be so happy. I know. They might have gravitanium, guys. We can build the <laughs> Death Star. too. <laughs> the yeah. Death Star. Both. The Death Star. Both of them. So yeah. Uh, um, that's exciting. Yeah, I, so I that's some really news exciting. that came out this week. There's definitely yeah, going to be all aliens. I got. It's going to be aliens. 
<laughs> You're an alien, technically. Well, well, I guess everyone is to North America for the most part, except the natives. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, political. Um, so let me ask this question. This also came from I Morpheus. Mm. So there's a saying. This is about work ethics. There's a saying that the way a person does one thing is the way they do everything. He says that he hates cutty corners. He always disassembles like systems and things that are electronic to see the inside workings. He doesn't stop picking something until he feels like he's discovered the essence of it. Like whatever it is that he's I working I think on. Imorpheus is a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so his questions, he's I got mean, a few. I if I'm if I'm looking at, at those characteristics that he just said he basically oh siler you remember siler from heroes oh yeah oh, that's yeah. basically him he wants to yeah. see how wants to see how things work how people that's tick true. It sounds very similar take them apart mm-hmm. i'm morpheus i'm worried now buddy i, I like Do him even more now <laughs> here's his first question this okay. one's a little odd mm-hmm. do you think watching a person play a video game would make for a good job interview like if it's in a gaming oh, god job. i hope not I think just any job you could judge someone to some degree on it. On a video game? Oh, yeah. Their How patience, problem-solving skills, that kind of thing. It's true. I bet that you could design a game of sorts to be a, a job interview. Oh, I bet oh, you could. Shit. TM. Are you oh. worried on, that they're going to start doing this? <laughs> 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 they're going to patent it. <laughs> Job you, but no, if like, first. if somebody watched, yeah, if somebody watched random gameplay of me, I wouldn't want them to. <laughs> if it was for a job interview, because <laughs> you'd be upset. As long as it's not PvP, you'll right? be all right. Or, right? or Neo, so get frustrated. Yeah, were you raging at so Neo? Far, just one boss so far, I think. Maybe. Couple enemies. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's good though. See, I, I told um, you. So last. Yeah, last week we talked about I was gonna I was thinking about getting it and I got four honor instead and instead I got Neo now this week. He has both. And he got both. So last week last week he got four honor, so I got a hoodie. Yep. And then this week he got Neo, so I got new boots. Yeah. That's how we're doing it now. It's like tit for tat, bitch. Shouldn't you be getting video games? You're like in a video game related <laughs> industry now, kind no, of. I want to dress better. Oh, okay. I need new clothes. <laughs> You're just preparing She's to be She's gonna famous. be a model. And oh, okay. We'll play the video games. <laughs> That's not a thing. But <laughs> well, back to the actual question. Yeah. I think it'd be cool if they developed if they designed something. designed a game. I think they really interview. could. And, and it, they could be sneaky about it, you know, and make it an actual fun game. But have the elements they're looking for as puzzles. Or, or problem solving and everything. You know, and then he, he also put in that yeah. same kind of thing there, like... Um, what kind of game do you think it should be? Should it be a puzzle game? Should it be a building game? I guess it depends on the job, right? Mm-hmm. I think it could have elements of a lot of things, you know? Yeah, it mm-hmm. honestly, could be any kind of game. A sim game, I think, would probably work best for most positions, right? And then you give them, like, a certain set length of time to play to, like, do the actual interview. Mm-hmm. It could be interesting. It's a cool concept. I hadn't thought of that before. Definitely. I'm over if he has some crazy... He has really good ideas about stuff, Ideas y'all. running around that head. Their podcast is good, too. I like it. Yeah. We gotta get li- your audio... I don't really listen to much, and that's one of the only ones that yeah. I listen to. We gotta get your audio sorted out, mate. Mate. We're gonna work on that. Look, he's I wish the someone trap, would, but nobody will submit music. I, I mean, want music. We don't. We don't have any like music creators that we know of. Nobody in our group is musically inclined. Not that I know of. Grim, no, just do that. Do it again. Yeah. Keep going. We'll record it. It's, <laughs> keep, keep going. Keep going. We'll record it. Go. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? Yeah. Y'all go ahead and with the straw. Go together, and I'll keep the beat. <laughs> go. I'm done. I'm okay. done. I'm done. Grim, do it. Fuck you. (laughs) Asshole. (laughs) Um... 
Did anybody get any other questions? Did they? I didn't post out to even ask questions this week, did I? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, I dropped the ball. I think uh, Lazarus yeah. was the one who was talking about the seven planets. Oh. He was talking about the three of them. Hold on. I have that. And it was just, I think, uh, what would we name them? I'm so fucking prepared. Oh, so yeah, we're supposed to name them and choose one to live on. Are we naming all of them or just, just the, the three, three good No, ones. just the three that are water planets. Um, my, I want to name them Earth 2, 3, and 4. You are low, fucking so lazy. <laughs> Mine aren't much better. Earth. What's yours? What are yours? What's yours? Grim 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> you guys. I want to live on I want to live on Grim 1. No, you have to live on Earth 1. Fuck that. Wow. I want to leave. Excuse this, me. This is how the first oh, wars sorry, on Earth our two. new planet start. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like you remember the uh did you ever see the South Park episodes where Cartman went into the future when he froze himself to get a wee because he couldn't <laughs> yes. wait like the 3 weeks yes. for it to go and it's like 500 years in the future and the big war is about what the atheists want to call themselves, the groups of themselves. And one was like the United Athe- Atheist Alliance, and the other one was like the uh, Atheists Allied League or something like that. And that's what they were going to war over, was what they wanted to call themselves. <laughs> it was ridiculous. But did he get his way? So, same concept. What are your plans called, No, Luke? kind of. <laughs> the Shire and Hogwarts. You're a fucking nerd. <laughs> and uh, um and the turtle and uh, Isla Nublar. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Nick, what are your three? It's the island from Jurassic Park. Oh. I'm going to call mine Winkin, Blinkin and Nod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to live on Winkin. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I'd live in the middle one cuz I figure you could escape to the other two easily if you had to. I f- but are they close together? Well, uh, I, f- I feel like if we travel that far, we'll have enough technology to travel between the three anyway. Right. Well, maybe. You make don't know bridge. that. We're going to make tubes that connect them. Are we going to have like a rope bridge that you shimmy along? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to have wire so steps. We'll travel by tubes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Don't fall. Ow. That sounds painful. Well, no, you walk with, you have shoes on. Fuck. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Still, that sounds in, that sounds inconvenient. Yeah, See, dangerous. we're talking about these planets like they're all in a line, like the picture shows. But I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like they're probably not even close together, uh, like yeah. spaced. Well, out. they're spinning like, around. We need, to get those, we need to get those tubes, like Grim said, but like the ones from the bank where you put your thing in and it shoots in. So then we get in a wait, pod and it wait, shoots wait, us wait. over to Earth four, like Futurama. <laughs> I don't or think the you can have like. Static things yeah, like between orbiting planets. Oh, that's true. They move. They just they really move. Rip apart. Yeah. You could yeah. you know, do something. Science, just like Science. a cannon that shoots you to the other one. Yeah, just a cannon. Man cannons. Get a catapult. <laughs> manons, like on manons. manons. Yeah. Get some manons, like on uh, Halo and and Destiny. Uh, man cannons. They generally leave well, you dead. Yeah. Well, they, they, these are space cannons. It's a little different. Oh, okay. Spannons. Yeah, they're made with unobtainium, so they work better. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Dune. One of my plants would be called Arrakis. I would oh, hope it would go. have uh, you sandworms. You didn't think of your staring at I'm the I'm looking book. to books. I'm, I'm getting inspiration. Jesus. Luke, how would well, you even great we fight a sandworm? You don't. You ally with them. No. Nope. You fight or, them. Or you curse them at oh. midnight. <laughs> Speaking of which... Speaking of sandworms, they're going to make another Tremors. Oh, oh God. God. Not even the kidding. last oh, one was so it's bad. It's a TV show, though. I don't is know. Is Kevin Bacon in it? I hope so. Oh, I hope so. I didn't look that far into it. it this uh, one's a TV it show, like, isn't it? fuck all. No, no. no. Are you I sure? So. I think it's like Tremor 6 or whatever number <laughs> oh they're God. on. The last one was awful. Classic. All of them were except the first one. Nah. Well, yeah, yeah, two, two was true. okay. They were pretty bad. They were... No, Two was it weird. Was it had the little bad. walk in Yeah, ones. but then the ass blasters. Like... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that saves the franchise. Oh, it does. Ass blasters <laughs> save the <laughs> Ass blasters. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of when we went back and watched, um, what were those shitty space movies we watched a couple weeks ago? Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know. What are you talking about? 
We watched them with your um, cousin at your grandpa's house. Oh, Starship Troopers. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's oh. that fucking brain bug. Yeah. We watched one and two. It was so bad. No, we watched like 10 minutes of two. It was. And turned it off. Oh I heard my two God, was awful. Unbelievably bad. It was. When You Went Back was the first one bad, bad now? The first one's pretty it bad, is, but, but it's a it's good still, bad. It's like in a place in your heart. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good campy. Heart. It's a good bad. Do you know that was yeah. based off of a book? No. And the book was written in like the 30s? <laughs> I had heard that, but makes I didn't. It explains yeah. a lot. It makes sense. Yeah. That does explain a lot. It's a brain bug. <laughs> I like how it's super futuristic, but really terribly old yeah. somehow uh, at the same time. Well, that would explain like, the book part then. <laughs> they had some product placement where it was like when they called home back to Buenos Aires. They, Buenos uh, Aires. It was like, like AT&T or telecom, like Bell it was Telecom AT&T or something like sure. that. Yeah. I remember. It was pretty funny. Good stuff. Space AT&T. Spay TNT. Spay TNT. <laughs> we are awful at this stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <sighs> you want me to do some movie reviews since you don't have anything to talk about? I have a question real quick. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nick. Or Grant. Nick. I'm not Nick. Nick. Your I'm name. you. Your name. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so as upstairs neighbors, Luke and Amanda, yeah. are you guys... Generally heavy on your feet? Are you noisy? Like, do you feel like you are? Do you, are you? No, no, no. I tiptoe on purpose because we're in the middle. Okay. So we have people so, above us that are very, very yeah. loud. So I tiptoe so the person below me doesn't have to deal with what I do. Right. With. So you're right. subconscious of people living below you. Very conscious. Yes. Yeah. So every neighbor except the first neighbor that we've had like six or seven upstairs has stomped, and the only one that hasn't was. A mostly deaf guy. Hmm. Weird. Mm. Yeah. And then I did have a deaf guy, and he was really loud. <laughs> but he was always. Yeah, I'm pretty. Me, com- so. I mean, I I purposefully am quiet. All right. It's interesting. I, I was just curious. Like, I don't understand. Because it annoys me how loud the bitch above us is <laughs> when she walks around, yeah. stomping in her six inch heels. She doesn't do anything but get dressed up and then go work out. I don't know what the fuck she like, does. And so she stomps around. And I'm like, man, I got to be quiet. And then she goes to her car and the car alarm goes off because she doesn't know how to fucking use her thing. It goes off all her, the time. Her you guys. Time. I wrote a note. Yeah. yeah, I wrote a note and put it on her car. She saw me do it. I said, can you figure it out by now, please? Maybe yeah, she stomps rude. on She's, purpose she now. Hasn't, <laughs> she hasn't set it off since. No, she did the other day. Did she? See, yeah. I, Figure it the I don't, fuck I don't out. Know She's had that car for you years. You guys can hear it, but these people are like, I understand that they're moving in probably, but like they're stomping up the stairs. Well, if you're moving in, you got to give them a pass on that because you can't really control but them. But I had, I had like around. a 50 year old guy, the last tenant, who would run up and down the stairs like a child. <laughs> <laughs> we had a guy that lived above us at one point that would run from one end of the apartment to the other. That was the you guy would, before this lady. Yeah, you would hear him. It'd be like, and you just hear it going down the hallway. <laughs> like, he was like, in a real hurry. Why is he running so fast? This place is not that <laughs> I've, big. I've got a solution Drugs. for you guys. It works really well for me. <laughs> What's that? Murder? Uh, I'm I'm pretty Move. deaf. I don't hear anything from the upstairs people. Is that, I don't hear a thing. Is that uh, loud music? No, nothing. I don't hear a thing. I don't even it's know. It's called if... getting a house and not being in a fucking apartment anymore. Well, yeah, but then you that's where I am stuff. now, though. So, like in, so what? Yeah, what's... I don't hear a thing. So what? What should we do? Deafen yourself. Move Deafen Canada. yourself. Apparently, yeah. So Canadian listen to apartments. live music. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like with your head right in the Put speaker. Put some extra like insulation on the ceiling. Take some insulin. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't got the diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Mm. Um, yeah, that's my only suggestion. Maybe just Canadian neighbors are more, more polite, you know, conscious. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're better. Freaking maybe. Canadians. <laughs> we, we just yell sorry back and forth all day. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it gets real loud sometimes, but. Oh, yeah. and then you apologize then, for yelling yeah, loudly. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a oh, never ending cycle. I'm sorry. I'm loud. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Getting vicious <laughs> argument about who's the most sorry. About who's more sorry. Yeah. Canadians are so <laughs> angry. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's not really politeness, very, it's passive aggression. They're very <laughs> forceful with their niceness. Yeah. 
I, uh, <laughs> when I moved, my, my windows in the bedroom got, like, this much taller. So my curtains don't cover, like, right where my junk is when I'm walking around. <laughs> but people can't see my face, so that's good. Wow. <laughs> Only your junk, not your face. Nick needs dick curtains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> TM. <laughs> no, because that sounds an awful lot like everyone else's problem and not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe they like looking at you drunk. That is a little creepy. Like, we went in and out a little bit ago, and the guy that was handing me my food... Did he go like, in and out? Like, had this... <laughs> Whoa! Uh, he had like the creepiest smile. Like, <laughs> so he did. He was it, was it like this? He had his eyes like yeah. He had his eyes like it was really very wide. Very cartoony. And he was handing it to me like, "Enjoy your food." And I'm like, "Oh God!" Dude, <laughs> then he looked a little. Look at me. Bring it down a couple notches. Yeah. You know, just natural. Act natural. Now he's got to exactly. fake it because he wants to probably die. <laughs> he's got to fake well, it till he makes it. He was a teenage guy working. Okay, at, he he at doesn't Canada. know that yet. Though. He didn't look like a teenager. No, yeah, yeah. Oh. What what sometimes happens though in jobs like that, customer facing jobs, they'll get a criticism and then they'll go too far the other way. <laughs> yeah. Because at Tim Hortons, there's a lady who works the drive through, and people when she started were like, "Could you speak up? We can't hear you." And now, and now you, she yells. You can hear her on the other side of the town. Jesus. Like she. <laughs> can you hear her from your apartment? I don't apartment? want to do. I can hear her from Halifax. <laughs> it's that loud, and everyone makes fun of her now, so you can't win. Aww. Aww. Yeah. She's real nice, though. <laughs> she I just... like how you had to add that in. She's real nice, uh, though. Oh, yeah, she's real Canadians, nice, though. though? No. God damn it, no. <laughs> Some of them are horrible. Oh, I forgot. You're not. <laughs> I'm not. Oh. No. Sick burn, bro. I I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you better be. <laughs> No, Nick, we're sorry. That's a new Nick no, ringtone. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, your ringtone went off. Everybody downloaded oh. it. And then, like, I'm in the shower and I forgot <laughs> that I had my ringer on. And I have your fucking ringtone as my text message. And so my boss text messages me while I'm in the shower. All I hear scared the shit out of me. I thought somebody broke in. All I hear is, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, who the fuck is in here? Oh, I don't understand best. why that is so popular. Like, last oh, I checked so two good. days ago, it was a. <laughs> 116 people are downloading this thing. It's weird. It's just me. I'm downloading it constantly on different. I'm oh, doing it over God. and over again. <laughs> it was so funny. Like I was editing. All right, and we all last week, like I said, I think it turned out really well. We all recorded separately, mm, and I mixed awesome. them all together. Oh yeah, it did sound better. So I'll much give you better. that. Um, we're doing it again this week. So, are we? Since we're staying in, but uh, so I get every. You better be recording. <laughs> crap, God damn. Fucker. Um, so I get all the files and I'm going through them and lining them all up. And then afterwards, Nick has, Nick had been recording a few extra seconds after the other of us cut off. And so it gets to the end and I'm like, okay, everything's lined up. And then at the end, I just hear this. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell was that? Like right when he cut his recording off. <laughs> oh, it was so good. Did, did I say, oh, twice or did you add it on a second time? I did. Add it. It oh, okay. Time. But you don't, like, you did don't say it once. <laughs> I was like, I had to trail it off a little bit. Oh, okay. But I was like, what was I doing? What were you doing? <laughs> were you streaming your desktop I again? No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one thing to accidentally stream your desktop onto Twitch, but it's another thing to be like looking at naked suicide girls at the time. Or <laughs> <laughs> at least, at oh, least it was classy. Uh, yeah. Amanda's triggered. Please yeah. don't trigger me. God. <laughs> It comes up on my Facebook. I can't help it. I have to look. Uh. <laughs> Just quiet. Wow. Death Just like a rusty trombone, that. right, Amanda? Uh. Oh, God. The rusty oh, God. trombone. We about that last week. <laughs> Why don't we you guys to. explain do that it. now? Okay. So, okay, I was flipping through Facebook, as you do, and, like, kids are on Facebook. But on the Facebook feed, like just a normal feed story from Cosmopolitan, was a how to give a, what do they call it? A, a, a top trombone. notch. A top notch. No, top notch. Yeah. A top notch rusty trombone. Trombone. <laughs> God damn it. See, that happens real easy. <laughs> 
That's a whole different move. Uh, how, um, how anyway, and it had like a, a picture notch. of her doing the thing with the stuff. So, and I reported them. Okay, so if you're not aware please of don't what a rusty it. trampoline no, is. No, you're, you're no I'm, gonna tell, I'm just going to explain the picture. You know how old our viewers are. I'm going to explain the picture. So You can Google it. Too we, could, we, we, should, we should just link it. But <laughs> basically, the story. it's a... It was a cartoonization. I don't know. It looked almost like it was like a real picture that they, you know, posterized. Like cartoonized. Yeah. 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 What do you even call that? Yeah. Post- posterized. Words. But sure. But a chick's face just buried in a guy's ass, like from the side, the view, right? Uh, that was guy's, she giving him yeah, a reach guys stand up and reach it around. <laughs> and you oh, see, God. you see a little nubbin like, oh, coming stop. out of her head. <laughs> I was so upset because all my kids are on Facebook. Well, they're, they're on everything, Amanda. Oh. Post. I know, but God bless it. Oh, kids, man. Kids got to learn was, about this thing. Yeah, they got to learn how to... What was the other thing we were supposed to talk about? Yes, the other thing that I remember... That we keep wait, forgetting. Does anybody like, else, we'll talk about it on the does podcast. Does anybody else have anything else to I mention? I want to know what we have to talk bones. about. Okay, so the other thing is from our clip episode. We talked about it at the very last clip. Of like, like episode 16. This was months this ago. Was, yeah, before we started recording, we were like, oh, wait, let's talk about that on the podcast. And we never and did. we never did. And it was about Silent Hill and Kindergarten Cop and the link between them. Do you guys remember this? No, not on. at all. I remember, but I don't remember. <laughs> okay. About, about every year or so, somebody will post a thread on Reddit about, oh, Kindergarten Cop and Silent Hill are linked. And it'll have like a picture of a the bus from Silent Hill and from and it's the same number as the one from Kindergarten Cop. And it'll have like a painting on a wall in the same room. And it's because they actually used the like when they were designing Silent Hill, they used assets from Kindergarten Cop as like their modeling oh and God. stuff. You're kidding me. <laughs> no, and they actually have a, a subreddit completely dedicated to this at this point. And so like every year it'll show up and it'll get upvoted to the front page of Reddit. And then somebody will be like, yeah, there's a subreddit, and they'll point it out. That is brilliant. Something. I've never heard of it. I've watched Silent Hill like a bazillion times. Yeah, we'll see. uh, I'm sure I can find it. Wait, Uh, is this the game or the movie Silent Hill? The game. The original. Oh, that's why, because I'm only thinking about the movie. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the original game, like, has a, here, I'll just Silent Hill and Kindergarten. You know what? I bet that happens a lot more than you would even imagine, because there's... I I don't think there's any three day artist that goes out there and works completely from memory. So when they're doing like a city scene or a building scene, they're they're looking at a source picture every time. It just depends right. on how closely they copy it, right? I, I think so. Yeah, uh, it, these are so funny. If you just Google Silent Hill and Kindergarten Cop, there's a Destructoid article, a <laughs> Kotaku, a BuzzFeed article, and they're all Silent Hill based on Kindergarten Cop confirmed. I didn't know Kindergarten Cop took place in Silent Hill. <laughs> Proof that Silent Hill is the sequel to Kindergarten Cop. I hate you, Amanda. <laughs> Cheeseburger.com. The parallels between Silent Hill and Kindergarten Cop are uncanny. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's like a whole thing. and it's Post it's, that in our chat so that Nick can put it he, up on the website, yeah. too. We'll have a lot on the website this week. We're trying to ramp up, get you guys Here going to the website more Here's often. the subreddit. It's SH and Kindergarten Cop. And it's literally like those five articles. That's the whole subreddit. <laughs> we're gonna post. We're gonna post the rusty trombone. Is it trom? I can't fucking Trom-bone. say it right now. Trombone. Within, oh, there's sorry. No that's my fault. Uh, I started that. I started uh, that last week. <laughs> Way to go! Can't get out of my damn mind. Oh my god! It's you can't get the rusty trombone out of your mind. <laughs> I can't get it out of my fucking mind, y'all. I thought she was facing the other direction. She was. Yeah, this is a different I'm picture. So when you click on the link, it shows the original picture. Click it. Oh no. <laughs> Click I mean, it. It's the same thing, it's just backwards. No, but click it. Watch. But, wait, uh, click wait, it. wait. Click the it. caption, get yourself a rim job that you both can do. <laughs> oh, oh, God, oh, sorry. No, so that gross. that can do both. I can't read. No, that was that was it. <laughs> okay, one thing I want to clarify, by the way, is sure. we are marked as explicit, so if kids are watching this, stop. <laughs> You're not supposed to be. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we're, we're marked as explicit. You know so On their own heads, be it. <laughs> Right. You've been forewarned. You Late afterwards. Um, Excuse me? You've been warned you after do? the fact. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, no, that E tag is supposed to be the warning. Right. Y'all want me to do my movie reviews? Yes. Uh, unless we have anything else that anyone wants we to discuss. We can talk discuss. about whatever in between, but okay. So. Yeah. You're on it. We 
watched, we're going to do John Wick second. Let me do, um, I went to see A Cure for Wellness. Oh, oh yeah, I want to hear about this. You probably don't. Oh. It's two and a half hours. So it's very hey, long for a scary long, movie. Long one. Which is an long issue. One. The acting was good. The storyline was good. It should have been a mini series on like FX or Showtime. It should not have been a movie because it was too crammed. At two and a half hours, it was too crammed. You mm-hmm. could tell that that's as far as they could cut it and get it to make sense. And it shouldn't have been two or three movies because it's not really good enough to be a movie. Like it couldn't have hold, held up separate storylines no. for multiple movies. Um, so it should have just been a miniseries. They used the wrong form, so it got like a five. So the pacing was stars. weird on it. It was weird. It was weird. Um, there were some good parts. The acting was good. The main actor guy is really good. I don't know his fucking name, but what has he really been in? Good research. I've seen him in stuff before. What was he in? <laughs> I don't know. IMDb him. I don't know. God damn um, it. Because I don't. I don't we're care. so we're so prepared. I don't care because he got a five out of eight, so I don't care. Okay, but John Wick two. Right, I watched this with you. Eight out of eight stars. Woo! That good, really. America claps. Three clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Highest marks. Um, the action sequences were amazing. The cinematography was amazing. It was so true to life. He has to reload. Like, they thought of everything. They were very meticulous with the details. Very, very, very And it was, it was like that way in the first one, too. I remember noticing, like, he trained, apparently, with some, like, the best professional competitive shooters in the mm-hmm. world to learn. Yeah, because in real yeah, life, how to handle John weapons. Wick. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And he does, like, the real, <laughs> like, the wrestling and the Krav Maga type stuff. Yeah, it was he like was judo. He was actually doing that. It looked like judo or Krav Maga or something. Mm-hmm. Like, he was doing a lot of the roll, like, takedowns. and. Man, the shots were amazing. The, I don't know, literally, how they did some of the shots in that movie. Like... It was mind-blowing. Seamless stuff, like, where there's one point where he's fighting a bunch of guys obviously and he's it's like in a car that he's in and the door gets like knocked off so he's driving around in a car without a a, a driver's door on it and at one point somebody hits the car in the back and he flies out of it and it's really him and it's flying like, out of and it's it. like one continuous shot and he gets up and it's him it's like how the I, f- I think they just did it did they for real like it's crazy how they and then there's like a whole mirror so there's like a hall later. of mirrors where they end up fighting. Yeah. And, but you, okay, so you're looking straight at them. You would see the camera. Yeah. But it's you impressive. don't see yeah. the camera in any of the shots, the, even though the entire room is mirrors. Either the setup or the editing is just They put mirror, cameras so in the mirrors. Extremely impressive. Something. Well, that's what I said. It had to be like or, a pinpoint or see camera through in a mirror, mirror or somewhere whatever. or something. Yeah. And, something. And it wasn't just like a, a still shot. Right. Like it's no, panning. It's, right downstairs and, and you stuff. don't see the camera at That's, any point it was amazing I technically very very impressive clearly like, they, they hired they... witches for this <laughs> 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 the cinematography and the stunts were for for that alone it was amazing it, re- it reignited me being in love with keanu reeves so this <laughs> Luke, also step has, aside. This has brought up a new topic uh, yeah, okay yeah. you ready this has brought up a new topic so you know how typically in marriages or relationships you get your one get out of jail free celebrity that you can have. No, sex I don't with. know what you mean. Yes, you. No, because I don't. Luke's like is the chick from. Luke's is the chick from Community. Annie. Allison Brie. Allison Brie. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mine originally was Jensen Ackles from Supernatural. She keeps then, changing her. Then I flipped it to Jared Padalecki for like is... a minute, but now it's back to Keanu Reeves. I don't think this is allowed. Th- this doesn't sound fair. Like that I just know, means right? you could sleep with anyone. Right, so here's, here's how this... No, that's it. This is, We're getting to this topic. I'm going to link on our site, me tweeting, trying to tell Keanu Reeves that I'm in love with him, and hopefully he'll find or out. Or he's, he's just going to probably also. I don't know how he'll ever find get out. something so you can't go near him ever. Like yeah. <laughs> that's what those are called, yeah. No, I'm not going to go and find him. I'm just being funny. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, let's talk about this in real life. Here we go. All right, here's the topic. If some celebrity even if it's not allison brie which is the one that you've got your free pass on right say any celebrity that's super hot okay no matter who she is 
comes up and is like, man, I'm really digging <laughs> what you got going on, Luke. Mm-hmm. This beard is amazing. I mean, obviously. It is pretty good. And I'm good. sitting here and she's like, I would like to have that. I would like to go to there. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to tell you no. Right. No matter who the celebrity or Are you going to try to solicit is. money for this exchange? No. Like, you know, an indecent no. proposal? Luke, are you a hooker? Just go have fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, it's not a hooker if it's an indecent proposal. You're laughing, but I'm being serious. Yeah. Because you only live once. Life is too short. If you get to fuck a celebrity, go for it, bro. I'm not going to be the one to wait, stop wait, you. Wait, wait, I want to go wait. to the there. Because, because Amanda <laughs> met a celebrity yesterday. And it's going to happen, so you got to get used to it. (laughs) Who met a celebrity? You. Is this what what he's saying? No. Mm. I didn't. Better not. Suspicious. (laughs) You are so jealous. Um, Whatever. But yeah, no, I'm being serious. Okay. Because yeah, if it was like Nina or Nina Dobrev or something, I would do. Anybody. Yeah. Any super hot chick, I'm not going to tell you no. Do that. So how famous do they have to be? Minimally. (laughs) This oh, like a one? This, this, person, this person was on People of Walmart. Is that famous enough? <laughs> <laughs> no. Luke, I'm sorry. So if it was like one of the Rooster Teeth crew or something. If it's a super hot chick and she's like amazingly beautiful, I'm not going to So now she doesn't that. have to what, be famous? What's her name, Nick? What? What's her name, Nick? The, uh, the Canadian one? <laughs> oh, Barbara? Oh, yeah, Barb. Barbara <laughs> Dunkelman. We'll deal with the aftermath. <laughs> the aftermath of you hitting it with some super hot chick is just going to be me completely being insecure and like, well, now he's tapped that. I'm never going to live. I don't. To that I don't think. So we'll have. To I wouldn't want to deal with that. that. Luke, just don't do it. No, I wouldn't. Luke, don't do it. I, yeah, I just won't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> so it is a trap. This a trap. is a trap. <laughs> I this, want you this to whole have a good time a in trap. your life. So if that really, I mean, how would, it's not ever going to happen, but if it did, how awesome would that be? You have mm. to say yes. Right. I'm not going to tell you to say no. It, it's I mean, a I trap that's clearly somebody... marked as a trap. Like say no. Is what it's it not is. a trap. <laughs> no, well, it, there's going to be consequences and he knows it. Well, yeah, yeah. That's we'll a trap. deal with it. I would say it would have to be somebody that's, that is famous enough that you could be like, dude, I totally did it. With, and some people wouldn't be like, who? You know, it would have to be it's somebody that, that they would. Be you won't believe it. it. I was at a bar. Jessica Simpson walked in and she was like, I'm feeling the beard. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't tap that? Jessica Simpson's like rough. She's had oh, tough sh- times. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. I'm I, just putting that out there. I probably there. still would. Let me ask. Okay. So Nick, yeah. Nick, you're not dating anybody. No. So unfortunately you can't really answer. But Grim, say some hot celebrity. Keanu Reeves runs into okay. Becca. He's feeling it. And wants to tap it, and she hits it. I mean, I don't okay? care anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like me; you're uh, free-minded. Let her do what she wants to do. Nick's yeah. the one. Nick's the one who's bumped into celebrity couples before and had this whole thing happen. Actually, in real yeah. Life. What if uh, Demi Moore had wanted to hook up with you whenever you like ran into her or something? Oh yeah, I totally would have, and then strangled her. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Jesus but no, you but forgot then the story. Bruce might her. have killed him. Yeah, I, I don't like her specifically. Uh, so, no, we know that's why right. they got a divorce because she's so terrible. Because I what told if him your to. celebrity <laughs> crush or to what? What? Say what? Nothing. Tay? Yep. You're talking about Tay Tay? What if Taylor Swift? I mean, he's not dating anybody, so right. it doesn't oh, matter. Oh yeah, that's anyway. a no-brainer. You mean like yeah. if if I yeah. were? Still, still a no-brainer. No. Let's be honest. I don't Let's know. No, I don't think I would actually. Oh, you Canadian. <laughs> I don't believe you. Don't no. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's because I have something you guys don't have. It's called class. <laughs> Just no. Being classy would be having. You only live once. Know. Just because. Just because you have fucking curtains doesn't make you classy. All <laughs> Whoa. right. Hey, I thought that's exactly what you were saying earlier. <laughs> that is, you're right. It is. <laughs> no, I, I, I actually would, but that's only because I'd be married to her anyway. I'd just marry oh, her. Oh, right. So you wait. Are you saying that you would wait till marriage with Taylor Swift? I'd marry her the first time I met her. So yeah. <laughs> is <laughs> okay, this a forced right. marriage? Technically. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's an arranged <laughs> marriage. Oh, oh, arranged. I've been talking to her parents lately, so I said forced, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> Same thing. Well, Same I mean, thing. it is, yes, in a way. Well, yep. in all seriousness, Semantics. I'd have to have that kind of discussion that you guys have had some of, I guess. I wouldn't just go and do it. Right. Just do it. 
That's the devil on my <laughs> shoulder <laughs> saying that. <laughs> right. No, that's just the the famous you know Greek god uh, Nike. The shoe. Nike. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a god. <laughs> it's a god. New to smite, by the way. It's Greek. Is it Greek? I Roman? think it's Roman. Luke, you fucked it up. I'm not sure though. Yeah, either. I don't know. I just know it was an ancient god, and that's how they got the name. Yeah. So anyway, it ju- I just, um, with my newfound rekindled love of Keanu Reeves, and Nina. we would talk about that, and I would make sure that Luke was aware that he's allowed to Amanda, do Amanda, tell, tell us about your, your girl crush with Nina. Is it back? Is it completely back? I saw her mention. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. You miss here's, her. Here's, here's what happened. So when you break up with someone, you have a moment of weakness where you've you had see a few of those. Like, I miss her. So I missed her for a second. I went to her Twitter to her Twitter. So page you stalked her, her right? like a, like crazy ex, <laughs> like an ex. So I went to her Twitter page and I refollowed her, and then I saw that she cut her hair super short. And then <laughs> her. how dare she? <laughs> Uh, I got over thank her you, real Amanda. quick. Short hair ain't working wow. for you, baby. But I thought you loved Thea. What's her name? Willa Holland. She loves everyone. I do, but she looks cute with short hair. Mm, okay. Nina Dobrev. Doesn't. Her, the, one of the best features about her was her hair. Mm. It was beautiful. And she cut it off. I could think so of a couple. I unfollowed. <laughs> Immediately unfollowed. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, rip. Rip. Sorry, our regular team. listener, Nina Dobrev. <laughs> Yeah. I know, right? She's <sighs> crushed by this now. Grow your hair back out and we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was it. We need to find like a, a D list, you know, D level list celebrity uh-huh. to be like our, you know, who we talk about on the show. Oh. Dude, that, I. You know, like they had like I posted Warwick the. And, uh, K.I. Theory is a band, and they did a remake of Enjoy the Silence by Depeche Mode. Right, the one that's for on For Ghost in the Shell. Mm-hmm. And so I posted it, because I lo- that's my favorite song ever, mm-hmm. is Enjoy the Silence. And so I would be extremely critical of anyone redoing it, which mm-hmm. I am. But they did it so well and so cool and so different. That I gave them a shout out that I really liked it, and yeah. they actually responded to me. The band did. Nice. They were no, it was just their PR. Out, so that's really cool. It's nice of them. Why do you have to ruin my dreams, Graham? Can I just feel like somebody no. talked to me? Jesus. I think it was Christ. them. I think it was them. It was them. It's totally. So mm-hmm. It's totally them. KI Theory, do you want to sponsor the podcast? <laughs> oh, man. Maybe they could make our theme song. Oh, make us. us a theme song. Yeah. Come on. Somebody. All right. Everybody at them. Everybody on tag KI Theory, <laughs> hashtag CogPod, and make us a theme song. Yeah. That Let's would be pretty cool. The Enjoy the silence. Yeah, I love that song. It's my favorite. Did you know I'm going to tag Elton song? John. Yeah. Well, that and the, <laughs> the other one. That was the 80s. <laughs> Shut up. What other one? Oh, my God. The I can't remember what it's called right now. but Sing it. I don't remember. Luke, just sing a song. About? It's your 80s song that you really like a lot. Achy breaky. <laughs> this, this is great one radio. One thing leads to another. Yeah, that one. That one. one the fix. Yeah. One thing leads to another. Hashtag the fix. Can you guys make us a theme song? <laughs> 80s style. I would love that. 20 That'd bucks. Be amazing. 20 bucks. We Episode can't pay you. Just the begging podcast. I, I know. It's literally, uh, we need to name this one the begging podcast or something like that. Because this uh, has just been me begging everybody me to help us out. begging you oh, to stop. Another shout out. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. A lot happened this week. Did it? So several of the COG members, not necessarily the podcasters, but Luke and I and then several other COG members are going to be at DreamHack Austin this year. Yes, we will. Last weekend in April. Yes. We will be at DreamHack. And then in August, we will be at Bell County Comic Con. So we're doing stuff, you guys. I'm going to be on the tech team. We're actually going to be on the crew. And You're going to be on the tech yeah, team. Yeah, I'm on the tech team. What does that, that mean activities. you have to do? Like, can you tell us or is that uh, secret? Well, for me, it's basically what I do every day at work. <laughs> it's just boring He's behind job. behind the scenes, like little huh. tech support. Yeah, I'm tech support. Because <laughs> everything at a Comic-Con is like they're well, going to be playing this isn't on really computers. A and, like, this is more. It's a gaming con. Yeah, it, it was originally. DreamHack was originally a hackathon. As, hackathon? As well. it, they it, still do hackathon. 
hackathon, not hackathon. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Uh, no, they, they still do that. They're yeah, they are. But but it originally started in Sweden, I believe. And Sweden. it was like a, a group of like-minded people got together and like programmed. And it was like a convention for that. Mm-hmm. And, and then it became like a big LAN party kind of gaming convention. Yeah, they do and, a lot of games. And they do a BYOC, like bring your own computer thing. And everybody can just set up and, hmm. you know, you sign up for it. But um, I can't tell you guys exactly what I'm doing, but I will be acting. I have a role. It's a secret. It better be recorded, but but um, I I'm gonna ask him if I can like live tweet out some video and give hints about where I am and what I'm doing. But if you live in the Austin area, come find me at Hack Dream Hack. Hack Dream Hack. Amanda, Hack you're Dream you're gonna. Did I hear that there was gonna be some famous? There was what? some famous, famous people, people gonna be there. Oh God, Nick, you're gonna trigger her. Is there some famous Rooster, people? Rooster Teeth will be there on a panel. Yeah. Well, they're going to have like panels and they have, they're going to have esports stuff going on. They have like uh, CSGO and Street Fighter. A lot of cosplayers. Um, Decent size. So it's going to be a pretty big convention. Uh, check out the website. About 20,000 people so far. Mm-hmm. Wait, are you going to cosplay? So. <gasps> Spoilers. Yeah, I thought you mentioned that. <laughs> I'm not. I Look, just you can't should. Tell you, you should anyway. Yes. Yeah, you probably should. Uh, if I'm tech support, maybe I'll just wear like one of those dinosaur suits. You can oh, be my yeah. unicorn. I like have a T-Rex unicorn. That's not the that That'd is be not funny cosplaying, if you Amanda. Around. That is a onesie. <laughs> I know, but it'd be really funny. They're like, "We need tech support." You walk up into some man. In His horns just flopping outfit. around. <laughs> Jesus with a with a with a four month beard at that point. Oh God, that would be amazing. Look, I want to see your floppy on? horn. What y'all need? <laughs> Whoa! Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> that happened. Isolate that audio afterwards and make Guess that a ringtone. Getting a ringtone this week. There it is. I've got one. Luke's got one. Nick has a super popular one. Now we need one Do for Grim. I think this one's going to be popular. Oh, that's not a real one. It is. Whenever you text me, it does it. <laughs> Mine was me being Yoda. <laughs> what was that noise? So bad. <laughs> Yoda after he's had a turkey dinner. <laughs> <laughs> turkey dinner. Turkey's as big as he is. <laughs> Turkey's, Turkey's bigger dinner. than him. <laughs> it would carry him away. Yeah. Oh, you can you can understand why he's so full then. Yeah, that's that's true. Good yeah. God. <laughs> that sounded awful. That was him. That was a terrible that's impression. what he's supposed to sound like. He sound he felt awful. <laughs> he's not gonna sound like he always sounds there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this went off the rails. Oh yeah. What else we have to talk about? Um, there was anything in the news that matters. No, no. <laughs> I stopped looking at Facebook because every day it's just stupid shit it's going a lot on of in America. Political it's just yelling, constant ignorance. I don't really get on Facebook much. What'd you do this week, Grim? I got haven't a, really heard from I'm you. I got a haircut. Got a haircut. Did you play some more? Um, did you play Neo or I what did you do? I played some Neo. I I abused it a little. Whoa. Yeah. What? I, yeah. It had a What'd glitch you where you could get What'd infinite experience if you glitched an enemy into a wall. They actually patched oh, that yesterday. You cheater. But you uh, you abused it till they I patched didn't no, it. not completely. I only got like ten or twelve levels or so off of it. Mm. I got bored. That you're not entitled that to. That I'm not entitled to. Because I did I wasn't put, helping. Put them people. back. Alright, I'll put them back. I'll reset them put and put them back, Grim. You can do that. <laughs> Wow. Oh, okay. You don't do it. No, I don't, do I don't that. care. I just help people on it anyway. Um, the Switch comes out next Friday. This Friday? This coming? Yes. Are you getting one? I am. I triggered a bunch of people. About Wait, the what? Switch. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, Can- I just basically gave an. They asked why I didn't endorse the Switch, and I said it was because it's. Directed towards children. Well, you can say that about and not really hardcore any gamers. N- Nintendo system. Exactly, that but was my point. It's yeah, but they're, they're people just yeah. got triggered because they know. love Zelda and they love you know yeah. certain things and they just get upset about it. And they do make a lot of games on Nintendo platforms that aren't specifically for kids too. Like the misunderstanding was my definition of hardcore is different yeah. than most. Yeah, I think. I mean, it, it just, they do make very intense games that are difficult and have deep, 
learning curves and and like the monster hunter games and fire emblem games and um you know they're they're very technical and and pretty hard games you know so they're not really made for kids i mean even pokemon gets to a like monster point. hunter that's true yeah pokemon on the surface is is very you know we we talked about that when yep. i was doing breeding and stuff it's yeah do you remember when ash is... killed his parents <laughs> I didn't never play the originals, and that's messed up. <laughs> but uh, the same thing I said. Yeah, last you know time. When, when you really, I know when you get into the the depths of these games, like the, the, you can actually plumb the depths of them, then it's uh, it's a lot more to them than just kitty games. Yeah, it was just my misunderstanding of the word hardcore in the gaming community. Because to me, I feel like games like League and um, Smite and things that have like a super high skill cap. That's what I consider hardcore. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing is th- those games do re- have a high skill cap. Like Monster Hunter, for example, is insanely. It's like Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. Combat. That's like, it's great. It's good, too, when you get that high. It's the one that. But if you, what I don't understand, though, explain to me why you would ever. They're not on other systems. Like, okay. Monster Hunter is Nintendo. Well, it used to be okay. PlayStation. Oh, that's true. It was like PlayStation 2, Because I just don't right? know why you would play a game on console if you had the option to play it on a PC. Well, you, you don't right. have the option on something. Okay. Like Fire okay. Emblem. Okay. Fire Emblem was like Sega originally, I, right? I'm not sure. I think like the old, old, old Fire Emblems. Um, actually, they might not even... I don't even think they came over here to the US, but um, no, Shining Force, Force was on Sega. That was a similar style. But anyway, like since the GameCube, Fire Emblem has only been on Nintendo consoles. And that's like been GameCube, Wii, DS, you know, 3DS, stuff like that. So so what um, was the last console you all bought? And how many games did you end up getting for it? Here's what happened. <laughs> so oh, <laughs> let me explain it to you. Well, PS4 was the last one we bought. Let me explain it to you, though. What happened? Destiny, I was looking forward to it for years. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, since they announced it. And then they do the preview, like, beta... And it's not side by side. And uh, my life ended, right? So I was super upset about that. But then they're like, okay, why don't we for Christmas, everybody, everybody, get a PlayStation 4 and Destiny so that everybody can play together. Mm -hmm. So we each all bought each other PlayStations. (laughs) So we all bought our own, basically. But it was So that, But that's the reason why. It was specifically just because Destiny was only there. But for you, you basically only play Destiny on it and then use it for a media machine. Like, I play quite a lot of games on the PS4, actually. Too many like games. console games as much. Yeah. yeah, and honestly, if Bloodborne and Neo weren't PS4 exclusi- exclusives, I probably yep. would have played them on PC. Mm-hmm. Um, the only reason I have the PS4 games I have is because now with Destiny, I have a community I play with, with where I met Grimm. And Did you? We play multiplayer games together. So with Destiny, Titanfall 2, and you don't play uh, Titanfall Division, too. we're about the only ones. <laughs> I've played it, but that's what I'm saying. Like The only reason I have those games on PS4 rather than PC is because... They're not on well, PC. Those well, they are, but a lot of people from the community wanted to play it. and But why would they want to play on a PlayStation? Because they don't have... Some PCs games also play. feel better like on a system... I mean, you can get a you can get a controller. No, I get for that, PC, but I mean, but... oh yeah, I I use a controller for just it's just that computers are so much more well, powerful. Some people don't, don't have a powerful PC too. Or something else. Well, it's yeah. also because consoles console gaming is cheaper and simpler. It's it's not cheaper. Four hundred dollars for a console versus building a yeah. twelve hundred dollar PC, and then yeah, but upgrading. This PC can handle. Well, absolutely, but that's my point: is you can play Titanfall two on a sony ps4 or you can play it on a pc that you built and then you have to keep upgrading the pc so a lot of people are turned off of pc gaming because the high startup cost and the maintaining cost to be able to stay to where you can play the cutting edge games at max graphics and things like that whereas with a console they are normalized so everyone's on the same playing field you have the same hardware same graphics no advantages for like higher frame rates or things like that and like a hardcore gamer, no. in my mind, is going to spend the money to get a good PC. Possibly. I mean, there are definitely, like, the Destiny community has very, very hardcore gamers that are 
console gamers, you know, like, and well, they have to be. It's not on computer. Well, I'm I'm saying even before that, like COD and stuff like that is bigger on console than it is yeah, on PC. All 12. <laughs> That's true. It's not true. It's totally true. <laughs> uh, but if you look like like MLG teams for this kind of stuff, they're definitely hardcore gamers, but they're a console. So it's it's just kind of what you use and got into. Um, I prefer PC. I'm not saying console is better, but I understand. PC Master Race. <laughs> But I understand why people do. Face. It's because it has a lower barrier to entry, especially for younger people. And a lot of those younger people started on games like Halo and are, you know, like hardcore Xbox, you know, fans. And I love Halo, but I'm not going to buy a through. system for one game. <laughs> right. Um, but a lot of people just carried on with the Xbox because they played Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, Reach, whatever. And then Destiny comes out, and they're like, "Oh, I can just play that on Xbox." So they continue on and get an Xbox. And I don't. I think the only reason I wanted PS or PS4 instead of Xbox was because of the X or this the PS4 exclusive being a year like locked. The blood. Oh, oh, sorry, not for Destiny. Yeah, that. I meant. Oh, that too. I forgot about that. Yeah, that that was actually a factor in it too. The the which is actual Destiny exclusives were to PS4. Yes. Yeah, that's a whole another conversation. So back to so. next question. PS4 is the last system I also bought. And I got it. <laughs> and how many games do you have for uh, it? Countless because I kind of share with my friend. So if you. Oh, you're cheating yeah. again. Uh, so if you. Cheating. Give them you, back, Grim. <laughs> he, he doesn't play them. <laughs> if you download a game, it's linked to your account. If you link your account to someone else's PlayStation, you can play their games. So he has his account linked to mine and mine's linked to his. So <laughs> we can play each that's other's fine. games. But then you make each other's your yep. yes, that's what I mean. main console. It's so sneaky, the only sneaky. issue is when the internet goes out and you have no internet, you can only play the games that that person bought. So I, like right. he, he right. buys a lot more downloaded games. But I've started buying downloadable mm-hmm. games because they load faster. I have a bigger hard drive now, and he can mm-hmm. play them if he wants to. Like Neo, I got downloaded because I figured he loves that kind of – like he loves samurai stuff as well. And so mm-hmm. he's actually been playing that too, which is surprising because he doesn't play a lot of games. That's cool. He'll buy them and then never play them. Luckily like, for someone. Uh, I <laughs> yeah. play them. He actually – uh See, I was... He got, um... Go. I forget what he got. Oh, he bought No Man's Sky, and I actually got the Platinum Trophy in it, and he kind of he kind of just stopped <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And you can play on your own account. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Like, so, you so what you do is, store. like, you log in his account and download the game, and then immediately while it's downloading, you can log right back out so they can go back to playing because you can't both be on the same account at the same time. So you can just download it right. and then go back to playing a game while it's downloading and not even bother him or her, whoever. Yeah. That also works with PlayStation Plus. Shh. Well, yeah. You only yeah. have to have one. So on the same <laughs> system, yes. But Right. I, right. I just feel Nick, if I got a console. do you even con- have a console? No, I, I feel like if I got one, it would be sitting somewhere and I'd use it maybe five hours and then just go back to the computer anyway. Yeah, because I can't well, alt tag a bit, alt tab out of a game and chat <laughs> and all this stuff like that, right? you know. So what's yeah. right for me? It's no point. Well, I play I, I play on my PlayStation at my computer set. Yeah, same so, here. Like I have it plugged into my main monitor, and so I still am able to use it just like on PC games. That's, that's um, I sit at the same place. I play on the same monitor, and honestly, though, it's it's mainly because of the exclusive games. Like Destiny was a console exclusive, and so you either had to get it on Xbox mm-hmm. or PlayStation, and you know choosing one or the other is a whole different ball game. But um, we ain't got time for that discussion. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. And uh, honestly, that's not like a big deal anymore. It, it's not near as bad as it used to be. You know, where people got like all hardcore. Yeah, like, well, no, a lot of games are multi-platform stuff. now, and there's one or two exclusives. Right. So it honestly, in the end, doesn't matter anymore. And a lot of people have both systems yeah. anyway. And people just understand. Right. And a lot of people just understand the reason you got one or the other is because you like that franchise or that series of games. Like Xbox has the Halo games and 
Forza and mm-hmm. Gears of War and you know PlayStation has <laughs> Neo, <laughs> you know the Bloodborne, Bloodborne and Neo. What, like, what I'm really hearing here is we've got to drive the prices of PC parts lower and just get rid of consoles. Exactly. Now, well, they're trying to kind of do that with Steam. Um, Valve has been, you know, with the Steam boxes. They're trying to bring more PC gaming to the living room as their whole kind of goal. Making that, a PC so. a I, I, console. Pretty much, yeah. It's just no, like a little micro PC. I want, <laughs> I no. want the opposite. Of <laughs> that's that. never going to happen. Yeah. Nick. But uh, we'll see. You know, they they try to hit more demographics, and that's the thing. It's like not everybody is like us that wants to sit in front of a PC. And no, game people all the time. love their TVs. Amanda doesn't like doesn't like sitting at the computer and playing games because it's uncomfortable. So, I mean, look at Nick right now. He's fucking lying, lounging back in a recliner. Doing a recording. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the computer's also right there that I can play on it, too. So. <laughs> yeah. So. On cool. on my three planets, that's how it's going to be. No consoles. No consoles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wink and blink and a nod. We, we've moved beyond this. We just have man uh, I'm going to bring Trump to your planet. He's going to build a wall. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Between Wait, the guys, planets. Does, um, doesn't Logan come out next Friday? Maybe. On the third, right? That's when the Switch. yeah your, your game system comes out, isn't it? The Switch. I mean, we're not going to see it like I don't even day or anything. Oh, like, coming right. soon. I, movie next week. Yeah. Next week, I'm going to go watch the movie uh, Get Out. It's get, one of the few movies out. that has 100 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. So I will go watch that. Wait, is, that is that the comments. one about super racism or something? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It is. Looks it looks pretty good. Looks interesting. Yeah. Almost like Stepford Wifey. Like, it is. Like a weird... It, it looks like it could have been an episode of Supernatural. Kind of, yeah. Oh, it, my God. One of the cats just took a dump <laughs> and it smells. Why do you have to announce that on the podcast? Because it's wafting. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, Real life. I wish people shit, could see your guys' face right now. Um, she's just yeah. like, what the fuck yeah. is oh wrong with you, Luke? And you're so embarrassed. God. <laughs> shit happens literally what <laughs> i'm done and on that note all right i'm gonna go make dinner guys goodbye mm. all right everybody say goodbye <laughs> bye goodbye <laughs> <laughs>